بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ہائٹ ساتف فرام پاکستان ود الیکشن نمبر فور آف بیسک نیٹ ورکنگ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی ایتھر نیٹ ایتھر نیٹ اسٹینڈرڈ اینڈ ایتھر نیٹ ایکسیس میتھڈ سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود الیکچر ایتھر نیٹ ایٹ زیرو ٹو ڈاٹ تھری ایتھر نیٹ بیسکلی از اے اسٹینڈرڈ آف کمیونیکیشن آن لوکل ایریا نیٹ ورک You should remember this that it's a standard of communication on LAN. It's called LAN pe use karte hain. And 802.3 is defined by IEEE. IEEE is a body that is uh, assigning the different standard. They are developing and managing the standards of communication. Like 802.3 is Ethernet. 802.11 is for Wi-Fi. 802.16 is for WiMAX. 802.5 is for the token ring. So one thing is decided that it's a standard of communication on LAN. It means there are some rules and regulations are defined in Ethernet that a LAN card will use to communicate on local area network. So whenever you will go for purchase a LAN card for local area network, 95% of time you buy an Ethernet LAN card. So Ethernet is a communication standard on local area network. Now come with the, with the on the devices. You can get Ethernet LAN card, Ethernet switch and the cables that we have discussed in last lecture. One of uh, them was category 5, 6 and category 3 cable. They, those were twisted pair cables used with the star topology. They are also called the Ethernet cables. and the cable that was used within the bus topology that was RG cable, RG58 cable that is also a basic uh, following the standards of Ethernet. So LAN card, switch and cable, the, the all three things are uh, based on Ethernet. Ethernet LAN card, every Ethernet LAN card contains a MAC address. Every Ethernet LAN card contains a MAC address. and have a specific access method of communication same as same the case with the hub or switch hub or switch knows how to pass the ethernet frames how to pass the ethernet traffic how to communicate in between two or more than two uh, ethernet devices now the third bullet is of access method access method is the way the, as uh, it names uh, it it name it define himself that it's a it's a method that how will you access something so here we are talking about the ethernet so the access method in ethernet is the way a lan card a local area network card access the media access the cable access the network so the access method is how an ethernet lan card an ethernet device can access the network or media ایکسیز میتھڈ بیسکلی طریقہ ہے جس سے ایک لین کارڈ نیٹ ورک کو ایکسیز کرتا ہے سپوز ایک ایتھر نیٹ لین کارڈ ہے اس کا ایکسیز میتھڈ بھی ایتھر نیٹ ہے جسٹ فور این ایگزامپل ہم بات کر رہے ہیں کہ اس کا ایکسیز میتھڈ ایتھر نیٹ ہے وہ ایتھر نیٹ لین کارڈ جتنے ہوں گے وہ ایک ایتھر نیٹ کے تھرو ہی ایک دوسرے سے کمیونیکیٹ کر رہے ہوں گے ان کو پتا ہے کہ یار جب میں نے نیٹ ورک پہ کمیونیکیٹ کرنا ہے تو کیسے کرنا ہے میں نے پہلے دیکھنا ہے ٹریفک آ رہی ہے نہیں آ رہی مطلب جتنے ہی تھے پلان کارڈ ہیں ان کا سب کا ایکسیس میتھڈ کوئی ایک طرح کا ہی ہوگا کیونکہ وہ ایک سٹینڈرڈ ہے ایٹ زیرو ٹو ڈاٹ تھری اور اس میں وہ ڈیفائنڈ ہے دا نیکسٹ ون از دا میک ایڈریس میک ایڈریس ایز آئی ٹول یو بفور دیٹ ایوری ایتھر نیٹ لین کارڈ کنسین اینڈ کنٹینز این ایڈریس دیٹ ایڈریس از کالڈ میک ایڈریس It is a 48 bit hexadecimal address on every Ethernet LAN card whether that was that is an Ethernet wireless Ethernet LAN card or a wired Ethernet LAN card for category 3, 5, 6 or for bus topology or whether it's an Wi-Fi LAN card every LAN card holds an MAC and unique address that address is called MAC address and remember this thing that it is unique globally It is globally unique MAC address of every LAN card. And the last one bullet is the CSMACD, Carrier Sense, Multiple Access, Collision, Detection. Carrier Sense, Multiple Access, Collision, Detection is the access method. In real, it is the access method of 
ethernet any lan card that is an ethernet lan card that will definitely contain a chip and there must be some software inside that chip one thing that is very important that chip will contain a unique address a unique id unique identity number that unique identity number is called the mac address and second one that chip will contain an access method a software that will help lan card to communicate on the network and that access method is called carrier sense multiple access collision detection we will discuss in the next to next slide in detail the next mac address first of all mac address is the hardware address of lan card i have as uh, we have discussed before that it's a 48 bit hexadecimal address every lan it is it is embedded on every lan card and in for microsoft platform there is a command ipconfig/all by using this command you can check the mac address here like this open the command prompt of computer system i'm using currently i'm using microsoft windows xp whether you are where whatever flavor of microsoft you people are using the command will be the same i have connected uh, lan card uh, lan cable with my laptop and open the command prompt the command is ip config slash all enter now it will show me that you have this one there is a connection and the physical address of this lan card is 001cbf823014 it's in hexadecimal and it it showing it is showing me another physical address 001d d9fc5563 it's of ethernet it is blue bluetooth ethernet lan uh, network card and this is for the the uh, wireless ethernet adapter so this is how you can access the this is how you can check the mac address of your computer system sometimes you need to tell the mac address of your computer to the service provider of which you are using the uh, internet services they used to bind mac address with your ip when shall inshallah we'll discuss ip in uh, after some session in detail they used to bind the ip addresses with the mac address so the unauthorized access to their resources can be prohibited so the final word for the mac address is that it's a hardware address of lan card and every lan card contains a unique mac address it is of 48 bit hexadecimal and you can check the lan card's mac address by using command ipconfig/all in all microsoft platform operating systems next the access method of ethernet the access method of ethernet is csmacd mean every every lan card whenever you will give any packet to the lan card you whenever you will give any data to the, to the lan card to pass to a different computer system that lan card first of all will check the status of the cable status of the media status of the network whether is there every anyone else is currently is being transferring data on the network or not until he will get the data, get the media get the network free he'll hold the data packet that you have sent to the lan card otherwise if lan card will throw the packets directly to the network what will happen there must be a collision there must be an accident just like on road the same the same thing happened on the road two cars two cars are trying to pass one uh, one street and both cars are uh, thinking that the media is free and they can collapse with each other the same type of uh, collision can be occurred in our networks this is called collision so in the csma cd based networks csma cd based ethernet lan cards will first of all check the status of the network whether the network is free or not until they will not uh, sense that the network will free they will not start transferring data onto the network it's a better media it's a better technique to forward the data onto the network so is tarah se hum iske through data transmit karwate hain ethernet karta kya hai ethernet ye karta hai सॉरी इथरनेट लैंड कार्ड ये करता है कि इथरनेट लैंड कार्ड सी एस एम ए सी डी यूज करता है कैरियर को सेंस करता है और मल्टीपल जो है कंप्यूटर सिस्टम उनको नेटवर्क एक्सेस करवाता है 
अगर ये देखता है कि नेटवर्क पे ऑलरेडी डाटा ट्रांसफरिंग हो रही है तो ये थोड़ी देर के लिए अपने आप डाटे को होल्ड करके रखता है और अगर नेटवर्क पे डाटा ट्रांसफरिंग नहीं हो रही तो ये नेटवर्क पे डाटा अपना फॉरवर्ड करवाना शुरू कर देता है दिस इज सी एस एम ए सी डी इट इज ए डिफॉल्ट एक्सेस मैथड ऑफ इथरनेट नेटवर्क इथरनेट स्टैंडर्ड नाउ वील टॉक अबाउट द इथरनेट स्टैंडर्ड देर आर थ्री मेन स्टैंडर्ड दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग राइट नाउ वेन एवर यू विल गो टू बाय लैंड कार्ड और केबल और a switch network switch i'm not talking about the hub because that is an older technology currently switch is very cheaper and available everywhere in the world uh, in a very normal or even cheap price so i will not talk about the hub but inshallah in some lecture we'll discuss the difference in between hub and switch there are three basic standards one is ethernet simple ethernet standard whenever you get a lan card you go to buy a lan card and a hardware or network shop you can send i i want a I want an Ethernet LAN card. He can give. He'll give you the 10 megabit per second LAN card. You will connect this network card with a Category 3 cable. Why? Because Category 3 cable also have 10 megabit per second data transmit rate. Second one, if you if you said if you ask the uh, shopkeeper that I need a fast Ethernet LAN card. that shopkeeper will give you now the shop, now he will give you the 100 megabit per second lan card it can its its speed will be 100 mbps now you can connect category 5 cable with this so why because category 5 cable is 100 megabit per second supportive cable and if you will get the gigabit lan card that is 1000 megabit per second or 1 gigabit per second you will connect category 6 cable but remember one thing whenever you are going to make a start topology the cable the lan card and the switch must be of, must be of same speed if the cable is of 10 megabit per second and the switch and hub is switch and lan card is of 100 megabit per second you will get only 10 megabit megabit per second data transmit rate because on all of the three mediums one medium is slow you can connect category 3 cable with the fast ethernet or a gigabit ethernet but you can get but you but the result will be that you will get the 10 megabit per second data transmit rate so always try to make a synchronized network a good network now the next one the next is the protocols pro what are the protocols that we'll discuss inshallah in next lecture protocols are the rules and regulations of communication between computers basically this is the protocol is a language by which the, both com, more, two or more than two computers can communicate with the, each other we will inshallah discuss protocols in next lecture in detail thank you very much for listening me allah hafiz